Congratulations, Mr. Ford. Oops, I was wrong. You told the guy he had to resign, Rod Phillips. I swear, I thought he was not going to get fired. I thought you were going to give some lame excuse that everybody makes mistakes. And the important thing is we learn from them. The problem is this isn't this guy's first mistake. It wasn't even your administration's first mistake. You had a... Ch it's probably the second or third one that has this um, breaking your own rules that your government created. Right? So I'm glad that you made an example and set the tone straight. That rules are meant to be followed by everyone. I almost thought you were going to pull a Jason Kenney. You know, the Alberta, wait, the premiere of Alberta. Another shit show. All right? Because for them, they also had some um, politicians that went on vacation. Very nice vacations. Like Tracy Allard, the uh, Ministry of Municipal Affairs, went to Hawaii with her daughter for vacation and they had a notice for essential travels only so to them you know vacationing is essential travel and they also had Pat Ring an MLA who went to Mexico and, to, and they also had their chief of staff James Huckabee going to the UK and then coming back through the United States. So two major hotspots, you know, just in case he didn't catch it in the UK with a new variant, he went to the US to make sure he got it from the US and then to bring it back to Canada. And no wonder Alberta is a shit show. This is the same government that requested military aid because their medical personnel, their hospitals were being overwhelmed. It just shows how seriously they take this issue, right? They probably had family gatherings, they travel, they do everything else that they tell other people should not do. And then they implement a lockdown, locking out businesses, which means employees are going to have a few less paychecks, a few bucks in the bank to pay for food, for rent, for whatever it is that we need to survive in everyday time. And in this period of uncertainty, this is how they show leadership. So even though the Premier of Alberta is very lenient, probably because if you were to do the same thing as Ford did, he would have no government. I mean, it's pretty bad when your chief of staff is violating the very rule that your government recommends. Learn to lead by example, right? I don't know, if, uh, if, it, if it was up to me, they'd all be fired. I would be surprised if Kenny makes it in the next election. But this is Alberta. I'm in Ontario. Maybe those people are more lenient. Maybe they are like, maybe Jason wants to be the next Trump. He wants to be the Canadian Trump. Well, we'll see. We'll see how the backlash is. All right. Charlie out.